Eh? Ni mgodi labda nitakuwa jela. Eh? Hivyo watu ya magazeti mlikuwa nasema nisemwe kitu na Kiswahili. Mko tayari. Hapo jela wate atajalia na gedhoko kwa gedhoeli yeye. Toa ni moyo edoka mushi jaraja gikuyu. Na nikio dela ya todi mu gikuyu. Kuri adu magari ya kuni ingiri na te hii mudo hii hatu kire te fiti president ara yoge kuyo gutu kada te fiti president na te kau tu kama moyo kuyo ida dia shia di wogo kuyo di geke muari ya ge wogo ge yake de mushi ona di gea di yake kuyo 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 di gege tuaru ona tawane make jodi yari i want to say the following we are as a country very disturbed by the events of yesterday the deaths that came out of the ill-planned demonstrations by Azimio, destruction of property, and interference with business. These Azimio people must know that elections are over. Elections were won and lost. They must move on. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto is the president of Kenya, and nothing can change that fact. Even if they collect 10 million signatures, where will they take those signatures to who? Matters elections are not decided by signatures. They are decided on the ballot. A specific date was set for that purpose, 9th of August 2022, and people signed, and that was the head of signatures until after five years. What they should be doing is preparing themselves for the next contest. And I want to say and tell the people of Kenya just to stay focused. We are not going to be bothered by the noise from the opposition because it cannot stop us from what we are doing. We have a plan. We have an MOU with the people of Kenya on tea, coffee, and milk reforms. We have given the Hustler Fund, we have given subsidized fertilizer, and we are grateful to God for giving us good rains. We are going to have a bumper harvest. Raida Odinga was somebody's project, and it failed miserably. Even those demonstrations, they have been planned and financed by the project owners. We want to ask them. They are saying that they can remove President William Ruto from office. They were unable to stop him from becoming president when they had power, the system, and the deep state. How do they intend to go about it when they are outside there in the wilderness? How can they stop him? So we want to tell the people of Kenya, there is no constitutional provision for anybody to collect signatures against a sitting president. They are just wasting their time. And we want to urge our president to stay focused, to continue doing the right thing, to continue on the journey for economic prosperity and the empowerment of our people. See you, Mumeskia Sasa. Mutangaza hiyo kama mutataka. Kama mutaki. Turudi kwa hiku. Kwa mwadwa ito nye, nogo shokia.